Hi, my name is Stuart Ryan and I will be showing you a bug that I recently disclosed to Apple which is CBE 2014-4451. As of Tuesday the 18th of November 2014 this has now been patched in iOS 8.1.1 and you can find the Apple security release notes at the below link which is stu.link forward slash iOS 811. Apple's description of the bug is in some circumstances, the failed passcode attempt limit was not enforced. This issue was addressed through additional enforcement of this limit. As I do not have any devices earlier than iOS 8.0, I have been unable to test if this is exploitable on earlier versions of iOS. However, I have confirmed that it affects both iPhone 5s and 6s at the very least. If you have success on earlier versions of iOS, please feel free to leave a comment below. So, here is how to replicate the exploit. Okay, here we have an iPhone 5 running iOS 8.0.2. In order to perform the exploit, it's actually quite simple. You slide to unlock, enter your incorrect PIN. The moment you see the disabled screen, press and hold the power button and the home button. Release the power button only when you see the Apple logo. Hold the home button for four seconds and then release. Once the phone reboots, you will find that you are back at the lock screen again. This essentially will give you unlimited attempts at a pin code even when you have uh, as many incorrect attempts as you like and no waiting for the lockout timeout to count down. It is important to note that you do need to press the home and power button virtually immediately after your incorrect pin attempt. If you find that you've had a correct attempt, you can always uh, release them before the phone reboots, but it is time sensitive in order for you to get in before the, uh, the incorrect attempt has been committed to memory. As you can see, we're back at the home screen and you can lather, rinse, repeat and do this as many times as you would like to over and over. If you'd like me to show you one more time, incorrect pin attempt, press and hold the power button and the home button. Release the power when the Apple logo comes up and release the home four seconds later. And once again you will see we are back at the lock screen. I would like to thank Apple for jumping onto this so quickly and seeking to release a patch for the bug only 56 days after initial disclosure. Please let me know if you have any comments or feedback below and thanks so much for watching.